Partisans in Novaya Kakovka detonated a car carrying the occupiers, there are casualties and injuries, according to CNS. In our nation's occupied lands, Ukrainian underground activists are still putting up a fight against the Russian invaders. As a result, a car with four people inside was destroyed in Novokakovka. Two invaders perished instantly, and it's possible that two more may soon join the dead. The Center of National Resistance published information about this. In the momentarily seized areas, guerrillas are still fighting the occupiers. Partisans from the Itch movement specifically bombed a car in Novokakovka that was carrying members of the Russian military and special forces. Due to this, two occupants perished, two others are in critical condition, claim the messages. Dot partisans themselves provided some further details. On February 10, the occupant's automobile was detonated. The detonation wasn't made public knowledge until its executors were safe from the occupants. We can tell because our people are already secure. Nova Kahoveka on February 10 at 10.25 in Dniprovsky Prospect, next to the police station, a car with four criminals, two military officers and two members of special services, was successfully detonated it says in the message. Partisans confirmed the instant death of two passengers of the blown-up car. Two more are currently in the hospital and the prognosis for their survival is currently not very encouraging. Guerrillas from the Itch movement appealed to the Russian occupiers, they are nearby, they know everything about the invaders, and they are motivated by a powerful feeling of hatred for their enemies. So these deaths are far from the last for those who came to Ukrainian land with weapons in their hands. Two passengers in the blown-up automobile died instantly, according to partisans. The outlook for the survival of the other two patients, who are now hospitalized, is not very positive. The Itch movement guerrillas drew the attention of the Russian conquerors because they were close by, knew all there was to know about the invaders, and were driven by a strong sense of hatred for their adversaries. The deaths of individuals who entered Ukrainian territory carrying firearms are therefore far from the final.